Two things were happening simultaneously. This was in late 2014. One was a friend of mine in Vancouver, his neighbor, a Syrian woman, had family back in Syria and was describing to him the horror of them running from ISIS and being tortured by ISIS. And that was quite compelling, but at the same time, the Meeting House was doing a series, ISIS, Islam, and Jesus. It just, it felt like the right thing to do. Graham Esau approached me, had a real desire to help. He knew we could do more, he knew we could do something. Sponsoring a refugee family was something that we knew our community would be able to do. We got on board, as did a number of others, and came together as a team of um, eight. about eight or ten people. أنا على أساس إنه جيت لكندا ما بعرف شو في شو ما في شو الوضع ما كنت أعرف شيء فأنا يوم شفت المجموعة اللي كانت واقفة ومحها لوحة بيضة كاتبين اسمي واسم المدام عليها فتعجبت يعني إنه شو الوضع يعني عملوا معي شيء أنا ما ما كنت بتوقعه يعني بالنسبة لهالجي اللي جيت لكندا. We wanted to make clear to them from the start, it's not about us telling you what to do. We want to very much partner with you, help you in every way we can. The two girls have a blood condition and needed blood transfusions, so we would regularly drive them to appointments and or arrange appointments, translate with doctors. And for me, I say that they are the only one, I mean, the only one of my family, in terms of the family that could reach the end of the death. Because the situation that was in the country was a bad situation. What I remember being impressed by when we first started attending a home church was the Meeting House's emphasis on compassion. And that's something that moved me to want to contribute financially because it was so concrete. When there was the opportunity for the Meeting House's uh, compassion fund, for that extra money that was given uh, to kind of top up and help us with those, uh, that last end of those um, financial resources when we weren't even expecting that. It was such an incredible blessing. Jesus is moving in the lives of this community that that is making a difference, that is impacting people's lives. We have different beliefs and we have different backgrounds, but there's, there's no better example of how to love your neighbor than this. It's very simple. And when they were at the meeting house um, in the theater, he expressed that we were loving them as family. He said, our family is all back in Syria, but he said, you are our family now. 